Normal is officially the dumbest word to ever exist. How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. And before anybody says, isn't there usually a gaming video here? Yeah. But I didn't really want to do one. <laughs> Sue me. Well, actually, don't. But, you know. Anyway. Back to what we were talking about. I don't think... I don't like the term normal at all. It implies very specific circumstances to lay out and go, if you're not this way, you do not belong. And it's crazy. It's insane. It's abstract. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I hate the term, I hate the term normal. However, I do love the term unique because it makes you feel like you're one of a kind. It makes you feel belonging. It gives you a sense of belonging to a certain degree. Better than saying someone's normal would, I can say that much. Each individual person is unique or given certain limitations, special. Um, I really don't think anyone is normal. It, it's insane to think that. And some people think, like, some people disagree on that. Some people look at normal and go, oh, that's not normal. I'm like, oh yeah, what is normal? If they give any kind of answer, they're wrong. Whereas unique... You can line out reasons why someone is unique or special. For example, my girlfriend Silver, she is unique in the manner that she is goth and when people think goth, they think like the stereotype most of the time. But she is the sweetest person I've ever met, to be honest. There are always ups and downs, but that's just normal. Nope. That is finding a way through. That's one there. One reason why I don't like the term normal is because it just doesn't make sense to me. People say, oh, that's normal. Oh, really? How so? And they, they list things that are particular to a certain group of people. It's not normal. It's unique to a certain group. Again, like my Gia. She's goth. So she's unique in that sense. Not everyone is goth. Not normal people. I mean, it's just a stupid term. But not those kind of people are goth, apparently. Every individual is unique. One of my IRL friends who is a YouTuber who I believe has either already hit 6K or is on the brink of it. Um, D9 or Dan D9 Beats or Danny Wilson. Um, fantastic person, great personality, filled with variety, and he's, of course, like everyone else, struggles but in his own unique type of way each individual person is given their own unique trials that's where i why i think normal is just out of the picture normal is a horrible term it doesn't describe anyone Regardless of what many people might think. Another good example. I'm going to refer to this person as AP. This person has presented themselves before on this platform and has struggled, has shown that, and has you know tried to get on their feet. 
Anybody who's able to push on makes them unique when they have a mindset of depression, suicide, or anxiety. Anyone who has those but pushes on anyway, that's a unique person because they have a unique kind of strength. You are going to hear me say unique a lot in this video to help them regain their will. The problem is, though, for these kind of people, and this is, again, once again, a unique problem, is that some of them, not even all of them, some of them, refuse to see this aspect. This is one example of many, 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 many circumstances. But that's why I say unique. Normal? Stupid term. Dumb. Shouldn't exist. But it does. And there's nothing we can do about it. Now I'll give an example of myself. I'm not boasting. Nothing like that. But I do know myself well enough. I am unique in a way where I have an effect on people. Whether I'm hanging out with them, taking care of them. I have an effect on people that is permanent once it goes through for long enough. And some of my friends know this. Some people who I know definitely know this. And that's a unique thing about me. Is it unique in a good way or a bad way? It really depends. And I have my own unique trials that I deal with. I've turned to some of my friends for that. And one thing that I really like about myself is that I have these particular people to turn to because they can relate in a way every time I turn to them. And it's fantastic. And I gradually grow friendships over the years. It's something to hold on to for me. I can't say that it's something that will last forever, but it is something, and that on its own. All, just the fact that I'm able to say that on its own already shows that it is a unique factor. Not everyone is able to say that. And that is a statement that right there, not everyone is able to blank. That statement on its own proves no one is normal. Everyone is unique in their own unique way. So many people don't look at it that way, but that's how I see it. And let me know what you guys think. Um, what do you guys think about the term normal? And how accurate do you think um, me saying unique is the more representative term for just humanity in general. Special maybe for some people. But you gotta be careful about that term. Very careful. That's why I'm not saying it. But, yeah. What do you think? Is normal a word that should be used? Or do you guys think that, as I've said, normal is a word that shouldn't be used in the way it is? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any other gaming stuff that I've done, like I normally do on days like today, uh, click the link over here. Any discussion and rants videos will actually be in the playlist right up over here. Want to check out my channel for any other discussion and rant stuff, or as I normally do, gaming stuff, um, I'll have my head like somewhere right here. Um, or it'll just be like down right there. If you like these kind of videos, consider subscribing. I do them, well, as frequently as I can. At least once every week if I can. Um, if you like gaming stuff, though, either nostalgic or brand new, consider checking out the channel because I do a lot of that. That being said, I'm going to head out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye now.